and welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell from the title, today I'm going to be showing you what I bought from Shop Miss A. Now, I only heard about this brand around a month ago or whenever I ordered this. So I ordered from here after being recommended by a friend after watching a video on their products because they're like 80 pence or a pound. They're all beauty products, so makeup related. And yeah, I thought for 80 pence or a pound per item, I just had to give it a go. So I think I got around 13 items for, I think about 16 pound, which is insane. I think it came to about 20 pounds, including delivery. I bought eyelash glue, eyelashes, a smoky eyeshadow cream, glow liquid eyeshadow in acid, Sculpt FX Contour, a mousse highlighter, I can't remember ordering that, um, Pro Wear Foundation, a roll on lip gloss, oh my god, they're like childhood lip glosses, I cannot wait for these, um, Essential Oil Hydrate and Lip Care in Rose Hip, Perfect Setting Powder, Liquid Concealer, I got two of those, two different colours. I got colour buff and light ivory and also a super soft wonder blender. 13 products and I paid, I paid $16.08 I think it is, plus $9.95 shipping. So that came to $26.03 and I think in pounds, that's around £20. So for 13 products plus international shipping for, hello, the dogs come and say hello. Are you coming? Oh, say hello. You happy there? Do you want to stay here? So yeah, like I was saying, 13 products for £20 plus international shipping is pretty good. And I haven't opened the parcel yet, but I was waiting to do this video. So yeah, let's get to it because I'm so excited. Before I open it actually, I ordered this on the 12th of April and now it is the 28th. So I said that I ordered it on the 12th of April and it came on the 28th but I meant that it came on the 28th of May, that's why it took six weeks. I'm not just really bad at maths. Yeah. So I'll let someone else do the math. But I think that's around six weeks to come. And it does say it'll come within 27 days. And obviously it didn't. But, I mean, under the circumstances the world's in at the moment, I'm sure I can forgive them. And considering how cheap everything was. Also, I keep getting sidetracked because there's so much to talk about with this. Because it's international, I thought I would have to pay customs. And the video I watched... She had to pay customs, I think she had to pay £30, where this came and I didn't have to pay any customs at all. Well, they've wrapped it well, so that's good. I have a fear of ordering makeup because I see people get like Morphe palettes and things. Not that I've ever had a problem with Morphe, but I see people get them and they're already smashed and everything, so this is a good sign. Okay, so... This is the Smoky Eyes and it's like a white. Now I don't have a colour like this. I have two Morphe palettes and that is it for eyeshadow. And none of them have this white colour in. So I thought I'd get this and this is the shade Creme. And this is a highlighter. I actually thought this highlighter was going to be bigger than it is. A little bit disappointed but I mean I think it was like 80 pence. Like a dollar or something so can't complain for a dollar I think that would be really nice like oh ooh. that is a cream highlighter and that is very nice I wasn't expecting that don't know if you can see that but that seems very nice and I'm very excited to put that on my face this is the pro wear full coverage foundation it looks exactly like it does on the website. I mean, I didn't expect anything else. But this is the Paw Paw Foundation and the Paw Paw Collection on Shop Miss A 
actually donates money to charities that deal with um, animal abuse. The next thing is the Sculpt FX Contour Stick. Now, I don't own one of these, so I thought I'd get one, especially for a dollar. This is super cute packaging. Love it so much. And this is the Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. It actually looks like it was going to be a lip gloss. The shade I got in this is Acid. I think this is orangey, if I remember. So this is the eyeshadow and it's like a bronzy orange but it looks quite dry inside i hope it's not so got this one oh next is eyelashes so i find you can't get really good eyelashes that are cheap and eyelashes are just going up and up in price and to be fair i don't really wear them the dog keeps crying my mom's gone out ace come here He's not bothered by me, he just wants my mum. Anyway, I got these eyelashes. And again, I think they were about a dollar. I think they're called Scarlet Black, or that might just be the shade. I don't really know. Because like I was saying, I don't wear eyelashes very often. I just find it too much of a faff. Just, yeah. It just adds stress onto a makeup routine. But I thought, for like a dollar, or 80 pence, or a quid, or whatever, then I might as well try them. And they look really nice. I'm actually really impressed. I hope they look as nice on as they do in this. Next we have the setting powder. It looks, does it look shimmery? Or is that just the light? No, it's just the light. But yeah, so I don't actually own any translucent powder. I thought I'd give this a go again for the sake of 80 pence. So because I got eyelashes, I got some lash glue. And this was highly recommended on their website. So I'm hoping it is good and doesn't hurt my eyes. And it's a brush on one, if you can see there. I'll have to see if it's any good. I, well, when I wear eyelashes, which is rarely, as we've already said, I use the Duo eyelash glue, which is the best. It's just, it's just the best eyelash glue I've ever had. So I'm hoping this can replace that because Duo is quite expensive. I mean, I think it's about five pounds now for some eyelash glue. I mean, this was like a pound. <laughs> so I'm hoping this is worth it. I mean, for a pound, it doesn't matter, but yeah. Now I'm so excited about these. This was kind of the reason I did this order because watching the girl's YouTube video on these. These looked incredible and she really recommended these. So they're medium to full coverage. I got the same one but in different colours and this is also part of the Paw Paw collection. So parts of the proceeds go to support animals that are abused and in need. I got the shades Light Ivory and Buff. Another Paw Paw product I got was the Paw Paw Wonder Blender. And it's a really good size. I was expecting it to be quite small actually. I just thought this was another steal for a pound or 80 pence. And especially because the proceeds also go to um, animals in need. I'm excited to see what this is like. It feels really soft. So the last two things I got were the Lip Care Hydrate and Lip Care Natural Extracts Moisturising Vitamin E Rose Hip Oil, I think. Lip Oil. I got this because we're coming into summer. The dog is wanting to ruin this video so much. I got this because we're coming into summer and my lips get so dry, especially if I'm out in the sun. I do use a lip sunscreen, but I thought this would be a nice little treatment after a sunny day or I've been out all day in the sun. And last but not least is this little blast from the past lip roll on gloss i used to have so many of these and i think i got it in grey because that was my favorite as a kid i just thought i have to get one of these because i used to have so many oh yeah i did get grey but... oh my god it smells so good <laughs> i just want to smell it all the time it reminds me of being a child Oh my god. Ooh, it tastes good too. Right, I'm gonna get on and try some of this makeup on. 
So yeah, let's get on to that. So before we started, I've just moisturized using some simple moisturizer because I find that's the nicest on my skin. So we're gonna get into it using the Pawpaw foundation and I'm pretty excited to use this. So I kind of wish they wouldn't put this plastic wrap on because it's just unnecessary. Okay, I'm quite tanned at the minute actually and I got a really pale one. Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting that. It kind of looks like a, a baby's bottle teat on the top when you push it up. So the moment of truth. Let me just go and wet this beauty blender. It's super soft. So let's go see how it absorbs some water before we use it. So I'm back after wetting my beauty blender and I don't know if you can see this, but it's almost doubled in size. Like that's crazy. It feels so good. But we're gonna put it to the test. So it comes out quite slow, which is quite nice. And it looks really thick. I'm quite scared. Bearing in mind, this is not gonna be my shade. I didn't know this parcel was gonna come today. I kind of wish I got more shades. But I'll just try and bronze it up. I just want to say that this is my shade when I don't have tan on. I haven't just bought a shade that isn't right for me. It has a quite good scale of what kind of shades to buy as well. But this is way too pale for me right now. We'll just work with it. So first impressions, this beauty blender is super soft on the skin and it feels really nice. I feel like some beauty blenders can be really firm, especially when they've absorbed the water. And this one's not, it's super nice on the skin, it's super gentle. The foundation, I feel like it doesn't really go on that even, if I'm quite honest. It'd be so much better if this was actually my shade or if I didn't have tan on. Okay, so I don't know if this will show on the camera with the light. Let me try and turn it down so you can see properly. See what I'm seeing. So it's not bad, but I wouldn't say it's high coverage. Um, I'd say this is more of a foundation that I would wear if I was going to a casting because it's, I'd say it's light to medium, which is fine, just so that you know what you're getting yourself into if you buy this. But I mean, it's not bad. My skin might hate me later, but it doesn't, doesn't have like a really bad, strong scent either. So it's not um, scented or perfumed, I don't think. It's quite nice, it doesn't go patchy from what I can see. And yeah, I will be using this for castings. And I'm gonna turn this light back up like that. I really should have done this step first, but I didn't. So we're gonna go in with the liquid eyeshadow. I might actually use the other one first, I think. So I'm gonna use the eyeshadow I got, the creme if I can open it, the really, the really pale one. So I'm just gonna set my eyelids with that. And then I'm gonna try and blend some of this liquid eyeshadow in, but I'm not too sure how this is gonna go. But we're gonna give it a go anyway. So I'm gonna go in to this with a flat eyeshadow brush to just pack it on. And I'm not a makeup artist, so don't at me or hate me I don't really know what I'm doing but this is how I do it okay so this eyeshadow for the price is quite pigmented easy to put on I mean it's a white color so it probably won't come up on camera because this foundation's made me pretty pale I feel like this is a really good base especially for a smoky eye which is the only thing I usually do like that um you won't be able to see this on camera i just know you won't but 
it's a really nice base like I just said and I'm actually really excited to put this into one of my smoky eye looks. That might come crashing down when I try to blend this. This looks like a lip gloss. It's definitely not. Liquid eyeshadow. I feel like I'm gonna have to work really quickly with this. Wishy look. So I'm just taking a crease brush by Real Techniques and trying to blend it out. I kind of wish it wasn't shimmery so that it would probably look better in the crease of my eye. It blends a lot easier than I thought it would actually. Well, I am impressed with this. I mean, it's probably not the best job I've done because I don't want to take ages. I just want to try these out. It's really nice colour. It's really easy to actually blend considering I am no makeup artist with no training and I've been able to do it. It kind of loses its shimmer when you blend it out which is good in a way if you want it as a crease colour like I do. So please ignore my eyebrows. I haven't plucked them or waxed them in weeks but we're in lockdown so we can all ignore the fact that my eyebrows look the way they do. kind of want to test see how much time I have as well before I need to blend them. So this time I've put them on both eyes at the same time. But obviously I can't blend them at the same time. So we'll do this first. And then we'll see if this one will still blend as well with it being left there a little bit longer. So I've blended that eyeshadow all out, the liquid eyeshadow, and I feel like it looks quite nice, especially for a subtle look. I don't really do big, bold looks with my makeup. It's just not something that I do. So something like this is quite nice. We're just going to go with it for now, but I think it's definitely worth it. I mean, especially for like a pound. They do this in all different colours. I think they do like blues and things if you wanted to do something a bit more extreme. But I would recommend this, definitely, 100%. I'd recommend this over the foundation if you were debating whether to get one or the other. But this is a steal. So to clean the eyeshadow up a little bit, I'm going to go in with some of the concealer. And I'm going to use the shade Buff because I've got some tan on and this is the darker one of the two that I bought. This has a cute little tip like the other one, like the foundation. I'm using all my own brushes. I didn't want to spend a fortune on this website because I'd never heard of it and yeah, I don't have a job at the moment. So I don't want to spend loads of money to try this out. <laughs> Again, it's the same consistency as the foundation. So hopefully it'll be nice. It does say it's medium to medium to full coverage. So let's find out. So I'm also just trying to cover the spots where the foundation didn't really sit properly. Now this is on, I'm going to put some of the contour stick on. I got the Sculpt FX contour stick in the shade Sand. Now I've never actually used a contour stick before. like that. How's this? So we're going to go in with the beauty blender again and blend all of this together or try. Oh I don't know if I like this concealer. I'm not happy. Oh actually I think I spoke too soon actually quite nice <laughs> really like this color buff on me as well 
I feel like I should have got a foundation in a similar colour. Okay, this concealer actually is unreal. It's like blurred all my creases and dark bits under my eyes. I'm actually in love with it. Oh my god. Why am I going to get addicted to a concealer I can only order from America and it takes a month to come? Please blend. We're just winging it. Oh, this is going to take forever. Like, how do people do this every single day? I'm sick of doing this already. I don't feel like this is worth it. Like, why wouldn't you just use a bronzer? Dear me. Guess who doesn't need to do a workout later on? Not me. I kind of feel like in places this contour stick's just rubbing off. I don't feel like it's actually doing much. Maybe it's doing a little bit of something. I can't make up my mind. Okay, so this actually looks quite nice in this mirror. I hope it looks the same on the camera. Like, I'm actually not mad at it. <laughs> this can see that gives me life. What the hell? Get this concealer. You need this concealer. I'm actually gonna go ham on this contour. I want like... More bronzy. Where do I go now? I kind of just want to be more bronzed on my cheeks. I'm not bothered about anywhere else. Oh, I feel like this is better. I feel like I just needed more of this. I feel like I was a bit stingy with it before. I feel like that's a lot better, right? I'm feeling this more now. Do I look skinny? I'm not even gonna do that again. Oh my God, I'm so embarrassing. Next up to try is the translucent powder. Now I rarely use powder, never mind this stuff. So I'm excited to give this a go. Oh. <gasps> Did you see that? Did that come up on camera? It like puffed at me. Oh my goodness. And you go in with this with a beauty blender? How do you even get it out of the... Do you... I don't know. Right, okay, we're just gonna use this bit that's on the top. With the beauty blender. Oh. So you just shake it to get it out, but then a lot of product gets wasted. So I like the dewy look, so I don't really know why I bought this, but... So, you probably can't tell any difference on camera. But it's like blurred underneath here. I didn't put a lot on, I didn't do any of the lines because that's just not my vibe at all. It's actually really nice. It's kind of just smoothed it out a little bit, although... In the summer I do like more of a dewy look. But maybe some highlight that might sort that out but then again this is like a translucent powder and then i got a cream highlighter so i don't know how they're gonna mix but we're gonna find out right now now it's time for highlighter now that we've got this going on this is probably the wrong brush to be using for a cream highlighter but guess what i don't know what this brush is for Right, well, nothing happened. I'm just gonna go in with my finger and try it, and then maybe brush it in. Can we see that now? I'm gonna take a different brush. Ooh, that looks good. Okay, I'm loving this highlighter. I'm actually so in love with it. Can you see that? Love it! 
and again I think they had different shades and I did debate between them but I'm really glad I went for this one I feel like it goes really nice with my skin tone and yeah it's super nice it does blend really easy if you use the right brush I was just using the wrong brush like I said don't have a clue what that brush is for I'm gonna go in with the rose hip lip care oil ah so it comes out like a gel and I thought this was an oil but maybe I'm wrong this feels so nice it smells really good too like not too fragrant like really lightly scented and it smells really good doesn't have a taste but rubbing it in it feels really good and really soft so this is another must if you're going to get anything from this haul so now it's time for lip gloss and this just brings back like i said all those childhood memories just the smell of it like this as a subtle lip gloss i feel like this will be less hassle if your hair's down in the wind i feel like it's not as sticky as the instagram lip gloss would be so the last thing on my shop missy list is the eyelashes so i'm going to be trying these on so this is the eyelash glue and it says super strip lash adhesive oh well it's white it said it's clear so i'm guessing that means it dries clear right so i'm actually trying to put these on with my fingers and for someone that doesn't wear eyelashes i don't know who i think i am okay why do i not wear lashes more often these are so easy to put on it's actually a joke that glue is like magic but I mean I feel like I should wear lashes more often now but this is my final look wearing only Miss A or shop Miss A and I am loving it I mean everything I bought 13 products 20 pounds that was including shipping like like where have these been all my life like am i being delusional or does it actually look okay or does it look crap tell me down in the comments what you think and if you'll be buying anything from shop Missy. if you're going to take anything away from this get the concealer get the lashes and the glue and the highlighter they're like the top ones i'd recommend i am impressed i am impressed very so follow the links below to have a little browse of their website and it's a really good easy website to use as well so go and check it out and i will see you next time